Good morning and welcome back to The Magical Viewpoint. Uh, it's been a, a while since I hopped on here. Um, if you've been following Instagram, you will know that I actually contracted, uh, contracted, caught, I got COVID-19. Uh, fortunately, it ended up being more of a mild cold for me. Uh, I am double vaccinated and have the booster, or at least the booster that is uh, approved for my age group. Um, so fortunately, it ended up being a mild cold for a, uh, about a week and then I started testing negative. So um, I'm actually going to take a break from the theme parks uh, this month of August. I think I mentioned that in a previous video um, because as I announced in my last vlog with the Caring for Giants tour, which is an awesome tour. I'll link that uh, somewhere above here um, for you to check out. Um, it was after that that I got COVID and that was also where I announced that I'm actually going to Europe uh, in September. So to avoid possibly getting sick again, I am going to avoid going to Universal or Disney uh, for the month of August um, while I prep for that trip. Going on a tangent here, I'm actually also watching the live stream of Drew in the moment. He is currently at Magic Kingdom as of the recording of this. Um, it is Saturday, August 6th. Uh, during the moment you can follow him on YouTube. He does awesome live streams from Disney and when I can't go to the theme parks Honestly watching his stuff is how I get to go. I actually had the pleasure of meeting him a few weeks ago If you follow my Instagram, you will have seen a picture, but yeah cool, dude uh, He and his wife are an awesome bunch to meet in the parks and there's their name if you guys want to check them out I can also put a link to their channel in the description down below Anyway, back to Europe. So um, I'm actually going with a really good friend of mine uh, who has basically planned the whole thing because he travels and he knows more what he's doing than I do. So he's planned and booked everything. You know, obviously I've had some input. Um, so uh, I'll kind of put up a map here to show you guys where we're going. But essentially we're going to start in Florida, of course. We're going uh, at the beginning of September. We're gonna fly up to Atlanta. And then from Atlanta, after a couple hour layover, we're gonna take our nine hour red eye over to London Heathrow. Uh, we'll actually be in London for, I think it's four or five days, um, where we are going to do some awesome stuff, seeing the city, um, going to Oxford, we're hoping to uh, we do have a dining reservation at one of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants. Uh, we're also going to High Clare Castle because I am, uh, actually we're both big Downton Abbey fans, so going there is going to be cool. From London, we're going to go to Paris for a day, um, and this is where I'd love to announce that I am going to my first Disneyland uh, international location. So I'll be at Disneyland Paris. And then from there, we're taking trains all across Europe, going through Brussels, uh, to Amsterdam, through um, Munich, Germany, through uh, Salzburg, Austria, um, passing through Slovenia, and finally ending in Zagreb, Croatia. Um, my childhood, one of my good childhood friends uh, lives there, and so I'm gonna go see her. Um, and then after Croatia, we actually fly back to London Heathrow, and then back to the United States. It's going to be quite a hefty trip, um, but we're ready for it. I also will be vlogging a bunch of my trip to Europe, but I'm not going to do daily vlogs, so it's not going to be like I'm vlogging every single day. I'll definitely vlog while we're at High Clare Castle. Um, any other experiences we do that are really fun, I will obviously uh, vlog Disneyland Paris. Um, some of our ventures in Amsterdam and Croatia, places that we're going to be for a, a while. So um, it's not going to be like a series of day one in London, day two in London, then day one in Paris, you know, because that's just a lot. Um, and I'd like to also enjoy some of the time there. Another update I wanted to give you guys is I actually managed to get my Magic Band Plus uh, that Disney just released within the last week or two. Uh, I think it's been two weeks now. Um, but I was able to go on Shop Disney and I managed to get my hands on the 50th anniversary partner statue 
one that you'll see in a quick video snippet here. It's charging um, and I'm going to show you guys sort of how to set that up or at least walk you through how to set it up because it's been a tough one for folks. I'm kind of glad that I managed to get it online so I could charge it and then when I return to the parks uh, probably in October um, then we'll test it out. I definitely want to go to Hollywood Studios and do the Batu Bounty Hunters, um, interact with the 50th statues and actually use the magic band to check into the parks. So we'll see how that is. Um, now I'm going to actually do the setup maybe and I'll uh, see if I can get some video of that so you guys can kind of see if you're interested in getting the Magic Band Plus how you would set that up and link it to your Disney account. So while the Magic Band itself is actually charging I figured I could show you guys in the app where you would link it. So in your My Disney Experience app you will go to the little sandwich there all the way on the bottom right. And then you get to this page where it shows Genie Day, Tickets, Disney Magic Mobile. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's actually a section that says Magic Bands and more. Then at the very bottom of the page for Magic Bands and more, you'll go to Link Magic Band or Card. And then you would tap your magic band close to it uh, once it's charged. I have seen in videos that it has to be at least 60% charged to do this. So I will do that uh, on video for you guys once my magic band is finished charging. So now that it's charged, it's blinking blue when you, uh, there's a button on the back that you hold down for a few seconds and it turns on. Now I'm back in the app where I showed you guys before and I'm going to tap my phone to see oh and I hold the button on the back for a couple seconds it lights up that is to power it on and it scans for your band the next step you have to take is actually pairing the band to your Disney Experience app which I'm going to do right now I'm going to hit here it says pair with device. I'm just going to keep to pair with Bluetooth. Oh, and you have to hit the button on the back. I didn't do that. You made a little haptic. Now it should be pairing. Pair. There it is. Now they're paired. Um, and in order to use them, what you'll want to do when you're going to, uh, of course, use the band at the parks, you will want to make sure you have the Play Disney app. The last thing I'm doing is updating the firmware for it. I know a lot of people have had to do this when they got it, but then after this it should be ready to use. Um, and I will be using this when I return to Disney um, sometime in the next, maybe, month or two. Uh, this will not work at Disneyland Paris, so it'll have to be maybe in October when I return to Disney World. I'm gonna do it for us here with this really quick update video. Um, I hope it was informative for you guys. I'm excited to get to Europe. Magic Band Plus is set up so I can use that the next time I go to Disney. Um, if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Share if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video, whether that's in Europe, whether it's I decide to go to Disney or Universal before I go to Europe. Um, I'm really not sure, but we'll see. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you in the next one.